Welcome! In front of me is a gateway laptop and in this video I will show you how to enter the one-time boot menu on this device. So in this video I'm going to show you the uh, general information on how to detect the uh, combination of keys or maybe the key to uh, enter your uh, to enter the boot mode on on your gateway device uh, so basically first what, what we have to, what you and me will have to do is to open the uh, bios menu and to open the bios menu uh, normally on gateway laptops you'll have to use the escape button i i think you know where the escape button is it's in the uh, uh, top left corner of your keyboard so uh, what you have to do is press the power button to turn it on and once uh, your laptop starts turning on start repeatedly you know, pressing the escape button until the bios menu appears on your screen now if it uh, doesn't appear on your screen the alternative key that also work works on my pc for entering the bios menu is the f12 button now if uh, so if escape button doesn't work for you uh, try using the F12 button instead, uh, it's the last F button on the list and in case both of these buttons don't work for you to, uh, and you can't enter BIOS then you'll have to check for a specific FN button, let me show it to you real quick. This one, so this button uh, in case you cannot access the uh, BIOS using F12, uh, which is, by the way, this one. Oh, no, excuse me, the, 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 this one. Uh, uh, then uh, you'll have to turn off your PC uh, and then hold down the FN key. And holding down the FN key, repeatedly press the F12 button. And uh, eventually this should work. Uh, otherwise, uh, I haven't heard of any other combinations of entering the BIOS menu, but you can also try the delete button, the F11 or uh, F10 buttons, uh, or F2 buttons, uh, button 2. Uh, so, what we have to do now is open the BIOS menu. Uh, I've told, I think I, I've already told, told you enough, so basically what you have to do is turn on the laptop by pressing the power button and then repeatedly start pressing the escape button until uh, the uh, bias menu appears on the screen. And as you can see right here, we have the bias menu and you can navigate here using your uh, arrow buttons, so use the side arrow buttons to, to select the boot section on the list at the top and then use the arrow down button to select the boot menu option make sure that it's enabled uh, if it's not press enter and select enabled uh, because that's the, the only way that you can enter the boot mode now if it only if it's enabled in BIOS so once it's enabled, check what it says right here. In my case, it says F7 key, which is the default key for opening the, the boot menu on my laptop. Uh, so just uh, memorize it. That's basically uh, that will be bas uh, basically will be it. Uh, so at this point, go to save and exit. You can discard or save changes. Uh, I'd rather that you discarded them so that you don't change anything on your way press enter then turn off the laptop select the power options shut down shut down anyway and then uh, as we've seen uh, F7 opens up the boot menu but uh, and, and basically you have to do the same thing as with the BIOS menu now. Uh, so, so just power on your PC and start pressing the, uh, in my case, F7 on, or in your case, uh, your uh, own button. And in case it doesn't work, uh, and I already know that in my, in my case it won't work. Uh, so just power it on, 
hold down the F and key that I showed you before and then uh, holding down the F and key repeatedly press the button that it said to you to press to enter the, uh, the boot mode so let me show it to you so press the power button to, to power on the PC hold down the F1 key and then repeatedly press the F7 button until the boot mode appears on your screen and right now you can see the boot mode on your screen and right here in the boot mode and navigating using your uh, the top and bottom uh, arrow keys you'll be able to select one of the device you can see on the list in my case there is uh, only the windows uh, option or the setup option if you have the bootable uh, usb flash drive on the uh, inserted in your pc you'll be able to see it too uh, but in my case I, i'm gonna go with the windows option which will put me straight into the windows so to select it i have to select it with an arrow button and then press enter to confirm and after that my device will boot uh, into the windows and uh, that's basically how you enter boot mode on all gateway uh, laptops so i hope that this video helped you and if it did consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like and a comment below and i'll see you in the next one